Moving on to Argentina now, bondholders who did not originally sue the government are jumping on board after Judge Thomas Grace's ruling demanding that the nation pay up immediately. But paying these so-called Me Too funds would send Argentina back into financial problems. Telesur correspondent in Argentina, Lopo Leti Caduti, now brings us more from Buenos Aires. A group of creditors who were not part of the original litigants against Argentina later asked last week to be incorporated into that group and have been labelled the Me Too creditors. They said Me Too to Grecia's sentence and jumped onto the lawsuit in order to claim the same conditions. Grecia's latest sentence rules that Argentina should pay the 6% of bondholders, which had not sued up until now. Since Grecia's ruling exactly one year ago in favour of the vulture funds that actually sued Argentina, the political opposition has demanded the national government abide by Judge Grecia's sentence, that is, to pay what a foreign judge ordered. $2 billion in cash without protest. Economists say that if the government would have followed what the opposition had said, they would have fallen into a trap. And the country would now be facing a $20 billion debt, more than half of Argentina's reserves, because of the Me Too creditors who have hopped onto the sentence. To pay that debt, all of that debt that gets rules that we have to pay, would be problematic from many angles. Above all, it would place this country's development into doubt, and again, we would be loaded with new debt that we and the next generations would have to pay, no question. The economists consulted by Telesur say that if Argentina abided Grecia's June 2014 ruling, it would have forced the country into the economic policy that crippled it only a few decades ago, which depended on foreign debt to stay alive at the expense of development. Say I have debt, and to pay it off, I borrow more and more, and as I become more in debt, my family has a good time, goes on a holiday to Disneyland, new sneakers for the kids, I buy expensive clothing for myself, I change the car, and there is a sense of well-being in the family. That's what liberal right-wing Latin American governments have done in the past. They have gained public debt and giving the people a sense of being well off. Well, in the long run, the debt has to be paid off. And that is where the cyclical Latin American economical crisis The conflict funds in Argentina continues. Argentina has appealed Judge Grecia's ruling to admit the Me Too creditors into his initial sentence, which is expected to be heard this week. Meanwhile, the country explores different sources of funding, such as a series of bonds launched in April. Leo Politico Luti, Telesur, Buenos Aires.